Namaste and welcome everyone. My name is Lauren Bentley and I am here to guide you through a gentle yoga practice for PTSD. Before beginning, I just want to let you all know that there is some construction going on across the street from my home. I think that they were building another house. So you may hear some noises in the background, some trucks rolling past. And I'm, I'm very sorry, there's really nothing I can do about that. And um, I don't want to skip any videos because of that. So just so you're aware of those sounds. And um, let's begin with a little bit of a discussion about trauma and PTSD, and then we will get right into today's practice. The practice will involve no props. It will be very gentle, definitely for all levels. So an estimated of 70% of adults within the United States experience some form of a traumatic event within their lives. And this statistic was created before the pandemic. So I can only imagine that it's definitely more than 70% now. A traumatic event is one in which an individual experiences a threat in their lives. And this can be a big T trauma or a little T trauma. Big T traumas are the ones that we more so think about when we think about trauma. This is war, uh, sexual violence, near-death experience. Um, but there's also little T traumas. And little T traumas are being bullied and harassed. Also, a serious injury, a sudden loss of a pet, things like that. So big T and little T, it doesn't matter. Um, there's, there's not much of a, a, a difference between it. Like your experience is, is your experience, is what I'm trying to say. And for many, the traumatic event will eventually pass and they will be able to move on. But for others, the development of post-traumatic stress disorder is developed. PTSD is thought to affect one in three people who experience trauma in their lives. And it is hypothesized that why some people experience PTSD is connected to the support they received in the immediate aftermath of experiencing or witnessing the trauma. Some symptoms of PTSD is re-experiencing through flashbacks, nightmares, and physical sensations, avoidance, hyperarousal, which is always kind of feeling on edge. So PTSD survivors often struggle regulating their physiological survival response and also experience a disconnect between the mind and the body. Yoga helps to build this body awareness and helps to stabilize the autonomic nervous system and reduces the size of the amygdala, which is the alert system within the brain. So we're going to enjoy some gentle breath practices and movement within the body to help us connect back with that body-mind awareness and learn a little bit more about self-regulation. And actually, Wednesday, the vlog that will be coming out is all about self-regulation. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. So as we slowly begin to arrive on our mat, just begin to notice any sort of anxious energy or hurried energy that may be happening. And see if you can begin to really slow down and be aware of your surroundings and the sensations within your body. And so as we arrive on the mat, find yourself in your comfortable seated position. And I want to make a note here that at any point you need to take your awareness off of your breath, please do so. You can always just move your awareness to um, a finger or a toe, any part of the body that's not connected with the breath. You also have the opportunity to open or close the eyes or come into a different posture. You can also always pause this recording, come back to it later when you feel ready. If it feels okay for you, let's begin to close the eyes or just simply soften the gaze down towards the tip of your nose. And as we begin to find this ease within the eyes, 
Feel the space between the eyebrows begin to soften. Let the eyes become heavier in the head. Maybe even inviting a smile to come across the eyes. Noticing how that removes a lot of the tension that you may be holding here. Relax the cheeks. Let the jaw relax. And let the tongue be heavy in the bottom of the mouth. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. And maybe finding a little bit of movement in the body by gently swaying side to side. Doing your best to keep both hips grounded to the mat as you sway. And this is just inviting in even more ease into the body. And just as you brought that smile to the eyes, Imagine bringing the smile to your mouth as well. Feeling the sides of the mouth turn up. And then gently bringing the awareness into the heart space and imagining a smile spreading across the heart as well. And if you're enjoying the sway, please continue to do so. Or you can begin to find some stillness. As we bring all of the awareness into the heart, it may help for you to actually place a hand over the space. And we're going to imagine breathing in and out of the heart. So imagining there's nostrils on your heart, so as you breathe in, that fresh oxygen fills the heart space. And as you breathe out, you feel any walls and layers that built around your heart to begin to crumble down. Follow this for a few more rounds, just really activating the space. Now, if your hands were on the heart, you can begin to drop them back down to the lap or perhaps to the mat. And we're going to find three breaths of breathing in through the nose. And on the exhale, we're going to breathe out through the mouth. And it will be as if we're blowing out birthday candles. So let's find our deep breath in, sending that breath all the way to the belly. And then out through the mouth, blowing out your birthday candles. Two more just like this. Inhale. Blow it out. Last one. Now we'll find three breaths by inhaling through the nose and then as you exhale you're going to place the tongue to the roof of the mouth right behind your teeth and hum on the exhale with your lips closed. Let's begin. Breathe in and out.
Last one. Just return to a comfortable breath, just noticing how you feel within your body. Gently and slowly begin to place your right hand over the forehead and your left hand to the back of the head. Feel your hands press and hold the head and let your head find ease within the hands. Breathing here. Doing your best to keep the awareness within the hands and the head connection. And then gently dropping the arms and wrapping yourself in a hug. Slowly releasing this hug and as you do, you take your time to squeeze down the length of both arms. All the way down to the hands. Squeeze the fingers and then we'll just switch the direction of the arms. So if the left arm was on top the first time, go ahead and take your right arm this time. And again, slowly releasing and finding that gentle squeeze all the way down. Very nice. Taking your hands back down now to the lap or to the mat as you slowly look over your right shoulder. Please do not push past any pain here. Back through to center, to the left. Come back through to center, Look up and then look down. Roll your head back up through to center, chin parallel to the mat. Gently let your right ear fall towards the right shoulder. Now we can begin to deepen this if it feels okay by taking your left fingers out to the side and going even deeper here. Take that right hand up and over to very gently rest on that left ear. Breathing into the left side of the neck and taking a moment to notice what's happening within the rest of your body. If you're holding tension in the legs and the eyes, see if you can find that ease there and breathe into the left side of the neck. And I always like to give this invite that if there is a feeling or a sensation that wants to arise as we're in specific postures, you're welcome to begin to release it. Release it with your breath, with sound, with a different movement. Slowly release that right hand if you had it lifted. Drop the chin to the chest, keep your shoulders rolled back. And then taking the left ear to the left shoulder, walk your right fingertips out if it feels okay. And maybe even taking your left hand up and over to rest on that right ear. As we now send our breath into the right side of the neck. Again, just pausing, noticing what's happening in the rest of the body. Noticing if anything is ready to come up and out of your body. Our tissues is what holds on to these traumatic events and memories. So it can be useful to use the body, the breath and the sound to help you to release. And then very gently release that left hand and drop the chin to the chest. Hold it here just for a moment. And then bring your chin back to center parallel with your mat. 
taking a moment to notice, pause, just noticing how you feel. Hands to the shins now. As you inhale, roll your shoulders back. Lift the chin, shine your heart forward. Exhale, round the spine. Pull your belly button back towards the spine and drop your chin to the chest. Inhale to roll it up. Pull your heart forward, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Let's find two more here. Inhale to lift and open. Exhale to round. Final time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale through to center, long spine. Let's find our barrel rolls. So we'll inhale to the right and forward. Exhale, round it left. And back really use your hands to help keep you lifted up in your seat right and forward left and back two more in this direction try to keep both hips on the mat as you make these big circles last one here once you're in the back position let's switch the directions inhale it left and forward Exhale, right and back. Three more. It's like imagining that you had a hula hoop around you and you were tracing the circumference with your heart space. And last one here. And roll yourself back through to center. Slowly and gently, let's come to a tabletop position. And as you arrive, stack your joints. So we have the shoulders above the wrists and the hips above the knees. We spread our fingers nice and wide and you wanna lift up and out of those wrists. So feel the heart space open through the back body and allow your low belly to pull in and up to really support your low back as well. And then we'll inhale to drop the belly, roll the shoulders back and lift the chin. Exhale to round the spine, take the chin to the chest. A few more here. Let's follow your own breath and your own pace. And allow yourself to really pause where it feels good. Inviting any sort of stagnant energy that you may have been pushing down to be moved through the body. Emotions are energy in motion. They need to move through the body till completion in order for us to fully be able to move through them. Let's find one more round of cat and cow here. And we'll come back through the center. Go ahead and walk your hands out in front of you about one hand's distance. And we'll send our hips back into a child's posture. As we, as we inhale, begin to round through the spine, lifting up, and then hug the elbows in tight to the side body as you lower your belly slowly down to the mat. Press into the hands, inhale to lift up. Exhale, send your hips back to the heels. Breathe in to lift, and breathe out to lower. And again, let's follow this for a few rounds. Follow your breath. Pause where it feels good. Imagine moving like water, like an ocean wave. And again, as I said about those emotions being energy in motion, our emotions come from the sacral chakra, the chakra located just below our navel. And the element of this chakra is water. And so I love to mimic water to really honor and connect with our emotions. Let's find our last one here. Roll it forward. And then as you push up, go ahead and push up to the knees. 
Keep the hands just as they are. Curl your toes under. We'll slowly take the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. As you arrive, just begin to pedal out your feet, inviting one heel to the mat, followed by the other, as you generously bend the opposite leg. Really feel your hands anchor to the mat. Feel nice and grounded in your body. Gazing towards the knees or the toes, and focusing on that nice long spine. Let your head be relaxed, Feeling any tension be releasing from this space as you roll your shoulders away from the ears. We'll take a moment of stillness here, anchoring down through the feet and the hands, feeling so supported, safe and stable. Next inhale, look towards your hands, bend those knees softly and begin to slowly walk up to the top of the mat. Invite every part of your foot to anchor to that mat. As you arrive in your forward fold, let your knees bend generously, head, neck, and shoulders completely relax. And if you've been following me for a bit, you know that I love to think about the top of the head as a trap door. And we can open up that trap door and allow anything that we just no longer want to carry with us to be released. You can shake the head out no and yes to further that release. It's hanging heavy here. Let it all go. Folding into yourself, supporting yourself, showing that you are safe, stable, and supported. Inhale, take your hands up to the thighs, finding yourself a flat back position. Roll your shoulders back, squeeze those elbows towards one another, and pull your belly button in and up, looking straight down. Exhale and fold over those legs. Press through those heels as you inhale and slowly roll yourself all the way up to stand, coming into a tall mountain position. So we're going to come into a bit of a shake it out, which is so wonderful to uh, release any extra cortisol and adrenaline that may have been pumped through the body. So go ahead and take your feet a little bit further than hip distance. Feel all four corners of your feet really anchored to the mat. Find a soft bend in those knees and just begin to find this little bounce here. And as you bounce, allow your hands to shake. Let your shoulders bounce as well. And if your neck feels okay with it, let your head be heavy too. And just shake out the whole body. If you shake out those shoulders. Just let your body bounce, not caring about what you look like. I know if you've never done this before, of course it's gonna feel a little ridiculous. You're gonna feel kind of silly, but it is so good to help you to stimulate that parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest. more than likely that you've been living in a state of fight or flight, to be stuck in that sympathetic nervous system. And so we're just inviting that to slow down, to take a back seat, and the parasympathetic to take the driver's seat. And we can begin to slow down that bounce, taking a moment to notice how we feel. Perhaps you can feel those tingly sensations all over the body. Maybe you felt that you've really moved something or you touched something deeper within you. And then we're going to enjoy a little knocking on heaven's door. So making some fists with the hands, keep the feet just as they are. We're going to begin to swing side to side as we let the arms just swing it freely as we go. I like to pair up my breath with this movement, inhaling to one side and exhaling to the other, but please, by all means, you find what works best for you in this moment. 
Knocking on Heaven's Door is really wonderful for clearing your aura. And this is also a very childlike movement. Like I remember being at the store with my mom and being bored and just sort of swinging side to side to keep myself company. And I just feel like it's almost impossible to feel stressed and unease when we are in this movement and connecting with that inner child. A few more moments here. Just enjoy this time. And you can begin to very slowly slow this down as we begin to come back through to center and of course we'll pause here just to notice so your feet on the mat feel grounded maybe even saying to yourself i am safe Lift those arms up nice and tall. Exhale and fold over those legs. You can heel to your feet back more so under your hips or leave them as they are. It does not matter. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, release. Plant those palms and take your right knee, your right foot to the back of the mat and then lower onto your right knee. If you have sensitive knees, you can uh, double up your yoga mat to create a little extra padding or even place a blanket under that right knee. Look down, make sure your left knee is behind your toes and you can pull your left hip back to meet the right. Really, really think about squeezing your inner thighs together. And then slowly come all the way up, interlace your hands, place them on top of your left thigh. Just let yourself melt into that front hip as you continue to squeeze your inner thighs together. We're getting a bit into the psoas muscles here and the psoas is the space of the fight or flight. We really tend to hold onto trauma within here. So meet this posture with ease and gentleness. Meet yourself where you are and of course, power up through your breath. Make any sort of sounds or adjustments as needed as they arise from deep within. And even if nothing actually comes to service for you, you're just inviting any sort of emotions to be that energy in motion. And then release those hands down. Step your right foot back up to meet the left and fold. Let everything be heavy. Shake up the head. Yes and no. And then take your left foot to the back of the mat. And same thing here. Soften down to your left knee. Find that padding if needed. Right knee is behind those toes. Right hip pulls back to meet the left and come all the way up for that low lunge. Notice how it feels on this side. It may feel completely different. That's totally normal. Noticing and witnessing, being here for yourself, I am safe. And we'll release those hands, left foot up to meet the right and fold. Shake, it, shake the head out again, let everything go. And then we'll slowly roll ourselves all the way up to standing position. And we'll step one foot out. So now we are facing the long edge of the mat and our legs are in a straddle. Go ahead and let the pinky toes be parallel with the short edges of the mat. Take your hands to the hips. As you inhale, pull that belly in, roll your shoulders back, open the heart, lift the chin. As you exhale, find this flat back as far down as you can go. And then release your hands to the mat and just let your head drop heavy. We'll hold it here for a few moments. And just 
pull it in to ourselves. Grounding with the hands and the feet. to heel toe your feet back together as you remain folded. And I'm going to turn just so you can see me a little bit better. But it, we're going to bend through those knees and come into this little ball, folding ourselves here. So more than likely, your heels are going to lift from the mat as you fold in like this. So if this does not feel good for you, you can just remain in your forward. breaths here. Again, maybe telling yourself, I am safe. And then slowly take your hands behind you as you ease yourself onto the bum. And if you were in your forward fold, just go ahead and slowly come down to a seat and we'll keep our knees bent with our feet on the mat. We'll take our hands behind us so we can lean back slightly to find a little bit more space and we'll cross that right ankle over the left thigh. So we're in a seated pigeon posture. So it's really important here that we flex that right foot so we can protect our knee. And if it feels okay, it's up to your flexibility where you're at today. Begin to walk your hands in so that you're pulling your upper body closer to that low body. The closer you go, the deeper that stretch is going to be in your right hip. Try to keep your shoulders back. Keep the integrity within the body. Low belly pulls in to protect your low back. Shoulders roll away from those ears. And again, keep that right foot flexed. Breathing into the right hip. Left foot remains anchored to the mat. Feel the support beneath you. Feel your mat holding you. And we'll gently walk those hands back, creating that space. Release your right foot down, cross your left ankle over. Flex that left foot and same thing, stay here or begin to walk your upper body into the lower body, any amount that works for you. Breathing now into your left hip. slowly walk those hands back out, release that left foot down to the mat, and then bring the bottoms of your feet together, let your knees go up wide, and begin to lift yourself up so that you have that nice long spine now, and then we'll exhale and fold over those legs. Just let your head and shoulders be nice and heavy here as we take some deep breaths into this beautiful little forward fold. Inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Take your hands to the outside of your legs, bringing them back together. And then we're going to come on to the belly. Taking your time to arrive there. 
we'll bring ourselves down to the left cheek. And then pull your right knee up beside you, left legs out long. So very gentle hip opener. Feel your whole body on your mat. Just begin to melt completely into this mat as we begin to prepare for Shavasana. Slowing down the breath. Letting your mat completely hold you. We'll take that right leg back, lift your head back up through to center, and come onto your right cheek, and pull your left knee up beside you, right leg out long. Take your left leg back and bring your head back through to center. We're going to end with a reverse Shavasana. So remaining on the belly. You can stack the hands and rest the forehead here. Bring the forehead down to your mat or even come to either cheek. Just listening to your body, whatever feels best to you. We'll be here for about one minute. See if you can let everything go. See if you're able to let the thought go, the breath go, and just be here in this moment. And of course, if thoughts do arise, it's completely normal. See if you can let them pass on like clouds. Just knowing that you are completely safe here. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing all of your awareness completely back into your space, noticing your surroundings and sensations within the body. Take your hands on both sides, underneath those shoulders, very slowly begin to press yourself up to a seated posture of your choice so that we can begin to close today's practice together. We'll take our hands to the heart, showing gratitude for yourself for showing up, for trying something new. And it's okay if you didn't feel much of a difference today, 